How you doing guys, this is Hybrid Steel, welcome to another Hydroneer 2.0 video. So, in a previous video we did the 1000 Ultimate build that actually does sort of work, which is quite nice. But, the myth that always carries on with this game, and it's one of those myths that I sort of figured this would be an ideal time to address this. If I put a big building over the top of this, and basically so you can't see what's going on inside... Does that improve my FPS? The plan, and I say it's a plan, but it's a very loose plan, is to build a shed over the top of the whole thing so you can't see the drills. If this works, and I'm able to basically null and void the amount of stuff that I can see from, say, the harvester backwards, does this help the game run better? Only time's going to tell. Now, the reason why I'm going to make this in an intro, and then I don't know how long it's actually going to take me, is because I've never built a building this big before. Time to shut up and put up. So I'm going to shut up. I'm going to put up an entire wall and a, a roof. And we're going to see what happens. If this increases the FPS, then potentially we have a way of making bigger builds just a little bit more undercover. See you in a minute. What seems like a little while ago when I last put on the camera to have it to talk to you, within that amount of time, well, for you, it's like a blip. For me, it's been an episode of Bar Rescue. But we have finally built a giant wooden square to hold the entire build in place, and hopefully this will limit the, the frame drop. I don't honestly know. So the only thing I can really do now is basically push the button that says, wherever I can blink in for it, Lock all placed items. This is the Hydratility Plus Plus, and this is the model, se uh, the toggle section. So I've c I can control all of the loose items. I can lock them all in place. The tier one drills, the tier two drills, the tier one pressure, and so on and so forth. Right? It's all good. So this basically just means that even if I were to try and take things out of the wall, I can't. Now, I do want to put this in here, so it basically shows that I can actually still get in here, and this isn't locked down with the rest of the entire build. The plus side to this now is that it's, well, number one, it's quite dark in here, so it, it it looks okay, and it looks a little bit funky. Still a little bit funked out with the, if you can see that right at the end, the actual shadow is still here. It's almost like the wall, the wall itself isn't actually creating a shade, it's just whatever. But hopefully, hopefully, this will work. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pop this back in now. And I'm going to bring up MSI Afterburner. And there we go. So MSI Afterburner is on. I'm going to save it just in case it dies. And we're run. So I've saved the game. We're running at 40 FPS, which means there is still a laggy drop there, which is the joys of life. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn it, this on. And I'm going to run the, the water through the drills. And then we're going to turn it on. So, as there is no animation that you can clearly see, technically the frames shouldn't drop that badly. But, actually saying that, we're, we're steadily at like 14. This is now coming down to like the actual like size of all the stuff that's actually coming through the uh, thing. Down to 8 FPS. Let's turn this off and let's clear the belt, shall we? Okay, so this dispels a couple of the myths and legends of this game. Now, back in the day of the early versions of this game, if you were to hammer things down, it would sort of help out the frames, try to sort of get some normality. The downside is that it doesn't really matter anymore. The reason why is because this game is optimised to a specific point, right? And that's completely fine. The best part about this is I know that a thousand drills works at, on my computer. It will probably work on yours. I'm not sure of like the results. But I know that it works. And it works a damn sight better than it used to. But nowadays, you don't need to hammer things down in order for these builds to work. To put this into perspective, there is a thousand drills. That means there's well over... There's 500 to 600 bits of belt... There's well over a thousand pipes. There's well over a thousand bits of dirt on a conveyor belt. 
And the problem with all that is it's all the information within this game that's causing the joys of this game. Now what does cause the lag now is the amount of stuff that was sheerly coming into the actual like harvester that's going onto the conveyor belt. Even though you can't see it, underneath this wood there is still a working build that's causing the lag. It's not the fact that there's all these bits laying around and oh it, it would help if you lay it, if, if you hammer it all down. Because the hammering it all down doesn't make a blind bit of difference. It all comes down to now the running process of the game and not just, oh yeah, hammer it down, it will save your frames. It's not saving anything. To put this into perspective, again, I'm looking at a giant wooden box and I'm running at 44 frames per second. Even without the giant wooden box on this, I'm running at 44 frames per second. You know, so there is no major difference here. It all now comes down to how big your build is and how much space that is actually taken up inside the game's memory. Then you get the lag, then you get the problems. So I think this dispels a myth. The, if you hammer everything down, it will make a difference. No. If I don't look at the build, my frames are completely fine. But if I turn around, I drop 19 frames by just having that on the screen. If I turn here, I get 59 to 60. And if I turn here, I get 43. <laughs> this is the problem with the game. Currently, it basically comes down to what you can see. There's nothing over here, so I'm getting maximum frames. As soon as I come here, it drops. And it's all because of the build itself. It's got nothing to do with the fact that I've hammered everything down. So, I hope... I hope that helps understand a little bit more that it doesn't matter if you hammer things down anymore. It doesn't help the frames per second. The plus side to hammering things down is that you don't accidentally pick up a pipe and stop your belt and then cause massive problems. That's literally the only thing it helps now. And in all honesty, like I said... Hitting this button for F2 and being able to lock everything down in one fell swoop. I'm all good with that. And uh, yeah, hopefully you guys have enjoyed this video. If you have, don't forget to hit that like, subscribe and notification button below for all other updates. And I'll be back here with a brand new video live stream or whatever else on this channel. Until then, thank you very much for kicking my. I have been Hybrid Still. I'll see you later. Peace out. Have fun. Enjoy everything you guys do. Ah, boom. Fist bump to you. And there's another video. Mm, over there somewhere.